Hi there, I'm John Tanner. I'm editor-in-chief for Telecom Asia. We're here on the sidelines of LTE Asia 2014 here in Singapore. And joining me now is Chu Heng. He's the vice president of TDD Wireless Networks at Huawei Technologies. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, LTE so far has been pretty much a FDD proposition. It's going great. So why do so many FDD operators still need TDD? In fact, uh, there are um, two reasons. The first uh, is because that the mobile data traffic is increasing very fast. So with only FDD spectrum, uh, many operators feel that it's not enough. Another reason is uh, the cost issue. You know, usually for a traditional FDD operator, they will spend 30% of their TCO for spectrum acquisition. But TD spectrum is much cheaper. Usually we have a data, TD spectrum is only 20% of the average price of the same uh, similar spectrum of FDD. So they can save money. What's the unique value of TDD over FDD? TDD is very suitable for multi-antenna technology. You know, now the mainstream for overseas market for TDD, we are using 4T4, means 4 antenna. And it will go to 8 AR, 8 antenna, in near future. And we are even deploying, developing 16T16R equipment. You know, more antenna usually means uh, better spectrum efficiency and better coverage. So with TD, we can make this happen. And uh, another benefit is that um, usually if an operator want to get a TD spectrum, there are less competitor. So with broader spectrum, the same site rentage, the same similar electricity consumption and a similar hardware cost, you can provide a much bigger capacity. Means per gigabit cost, it can be dramatically reduced. We're seeing a lot of interest in TDD, especially in Asia and not just in China. Why does Asia need LTE TDD more than other regions? The first reason is because that Asia is developing very fast, not only in economy, but also in data traffic. Asia data traffic is increasing even faster than other area of the world. And we can predict that by 2020, another 1,200 megahertz will be needed. Of course, by only FD spectrum, it's impossible. So TD spectrum also become an important option for the data traffic. That's the first reason. And the second is because of the cost. We know LTE is important. For a year, affordable LTE is more important. It should not only be excellent, but also be cost effective. And the spectrum cost is a very big fact. So with a comparatively more cost effective TD spectrum, operator can more easily make profit from the data communication service. Now an important angle here, of course, is converging FDD and TDD into one uh, converged network. Uh, how can operators approach that in terms of uh, deployment? First, in order to deploy, a, we call it a 1LT network. We say usually there are three phases. For phase one, a 1LT network is just um, uh, interworking between FDD and TDD. You have a smartphone, it support both. And smartphone can select either FDD network or TD network. Depends on the traffic situation. He will select a comparatively empty spectrum for the, for the current communication. So that's for phase one. It doesn't need much support from the network, just the terminal can do most of the issue. And the second phase is what we call single run. You know, Huawei's single run solution, we can support LT FDD, LT TDD, GSM, UMTS on the base, same base station. So for the control, 
and for the data communication with just one single base station, we can do everything. So you can enjoy the load balance between different networks, and also you can enjoy the lower total cost. And the third phase is what we call the uh, carry aggregation between FDD and TAD. In that case, even one single user, they can combine FDD spectrum and TD spectrum to provide an extremely high speed, extremely good performance. So that's the uh, three phases of the FDD TD convergence. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. So uh, Chu Hung of Huawei Technologies, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.